Hi, this is Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin. About eight years ago, a young girl by the name of Jessica Collins from Shelbyville, Kentucky, watched the movie The Blind Side and was struck by the fact that there are kids who don't have a bed to sleep in. And even though she was young, this really moved her. She started a program, a nonprofit called A Place to Sleep. And since that time, they have helped to put 1,300 beds into homes for primarily young people where they did not have a bed. It's a simple story. Follow along, check out the video that follows this comment, and celebrate the fact that we have young people like Jessica who make changes to make Kentucky better every single day. We are Kentucky. I'm Lynn Whitaker. I'm the logistics coordinator of A Place to Sleep, and I'm also Jessica's grandmother. And today we are at A Place to Sleep's warehouse, which is in the back of Awake Ministries in Shelbyville. When I was 10 years old in fifth grade, I saw the movie The Blind Side, and that movie inspired me to want to help to give others beds who didn't have them when Michael Orr received his first bed. Jessica said, I want to help one child. I want to do, that's what I want to do for Christmas. Instead of getting an angel off the angel tree, mm -hmm. I want to do that for Christmas. Can we do that? So her mom and dad and I and her grandfather all said, sure, why not? We talked to people at our church and they jumped on board. This person had a bed frame, that person had a set of sheets. It just all came together. And so other people heard that we were taking donations and then people that lived near the first family heard that we were giving beds. So it did kind of just spiral from that. And oddly enough, this family she was gonna help lived in the same neighborhood that she did. So there was somebody living right down the street that went to her school that didn't have a bed. And it really opened her eyes as to how lucky, how blessed she was. Plus that, you know, you never know who needs help and who doesn't. And that's kind of why I guess I wanted to keep doing it because it made me realize that kids in my own neighborhood didn't have beds. When she finished that first one, we said, now what? Let's do, she said, let's do another one. And let's do another one. And let's do another one. That was December 2009 when it started. Just in my county alone, we've helped over 1,200 kids um, have a bed. So that's 1,200 kids that would have been sleeping on the floor that are now sleeping in a bed. And we've had people follow the student throughout school and it showed that their grades improve, their behavior improves, and their health improves from sleeping on a bed. A place to sleep uh, has been a blessing to many families because at A Loving Choice, a lot of families come, uh, a lot of women come that are pregnant, and sometimes they need a crib for their babies or they need a place to sleep for their children. Also, uh, with the hands department, I come and visit moms. Just being a part of those children's smiles when they have their bed and to hear them say, this is my bed, this is where I'm gonna sleep, it, it's, it's, it's just very heartwarming and touching. So seeing her take on her own project and find her own passion is just, it's beautiful. I'm a very proud grandmother. The biggest thing I've probably learned, it would be just like to always help your friends because through this I've realized that people that you think may be well off in school that you might be friends with aren't as well off as you may think that they may be. Instead of why, she's saying why not? and just going for it. It just makes me have so much hope for the future that she's not the only young person out there that's doing it and she's inspiring other kids. Um, I would say that you're never too young to make a difference. Like I was only 10 when I started it, so for kids, if you have an idea, go ahead and act upon it. And if you're an adult and you have a child that has an idea, try to help that, like make that happen because you never know how big it can grow.